The debate over public safety in San Francisco has been really exploding over the last few days after the homicide of tech mogul Bob Lee. And tonight we're learning the city's former fire commissioner was brutally attacked in the marina last night. And tonight, the police chief told us they have made an arrest in that case. Don Carmignani was attacked on Magnolia Street between Buchanan and Laguna. He had surgery on his skull today in the hospital, according to his friend. This is video of him here on the right. He appeared on the All In radio show about six months ago. He briefly served as fire commissioner in 2013 and is one of the city's biggest landlords for medical cannabis businesses. The police chief and DA said this about the attack tonight. I've seen the photo of the, the former commissioner. Um, it was a very brutal uh, and violent attack. Heart goes out to him and his family. He's expected to survive his injuries, which is good news. But you know these types of, of brutal attacks and these type of brazen attacks, these are the type of things that have people anxious about what's happening. We don't know yet who was arrested. The cops have not said so far, but the DA's office does expect to receive the case from police in the next few days, and they could file charges of assault with a deadly weapon. Well, just two days before that, tech executive Bob Lee was stabbed to death in the East Cut neighborhood. Police have not said if the attack was targeted or random, but it's led to a major outcry about public safety. As Andrea Nakano shows us, the issue was top of mind at a community meeting tonight in the sunset. On a Thursday night, it was standing room only at this community meeting. The fatal stabbing of tech CEO Bob Lee has reinforced the belief that anything can happen anywhere at any time. Margaret Graff has lived in San Francisco for more than 60 years. I've been downtown on the streets at night and I've been alone and I have walked those streets and it is scary. Margaret and her friend Dorothy sat in a packed community center in the Sunset District, hoping to hear some solutions to the rising crime. What matters is how people feel today and they do not feel safe. The fatal stabbing of tech CEO Bob Lee is just one of the cases addressed at the meeting. The crowd also listened to the city's approach to dealing with the drugs and the homelessness. The police can't even take care of this problem. So it's going to be going on and on and they'll be having more meetings and there is no resolution that we'll see anytime soon. There are residents that are asking for more proactive patrols, but with the police department down more than 560 officers, Chief Bill Scott says it's going to take time to get back to adequate staffing levels. Well, we have a plan to just try to stay stable. The good news is our hiring and our applicant pool is up significantly, and we anticipate that that's going to mean bigger academy classes, but it's going to take years to answer your question. The chief, though, says one of the positives over the last few months is the collaboration with the district attorney's office to prosecute the criminals arrested. Some feel the next step may be the need to change some of the laws to make sure people are paying for their crimes. We have to remember that the police are charged with enforcing the law, but somebody else wrote that law. And we're the people who elected people to write those laws. So it, it basically comes down to us. As for the Bob Lee case, Chief Scott says they are following several leads, but no arrests have been made yet.